hey, hey, relax. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy JP's on the keys, and it's too easy to open the video today with a reminder to drink some water. Let me know if you like this green screen better. I'm starting to use this screen, this the green screen more. I feel like I need to use it because I, I spent like $60 on it and I wasn't using it. So I'm like, why am I wasting this money? I need to use this green screen. By all means, let me know if you like it. Let me know if you want me to keep doing it. Let me know if it's a little too fuzzy for you. Maybe because it's wrinkled. I'm not going to iron this and it was not that important. But anyway, we got Steel Game Episode 7. Sugarlies. By the way, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to be doing with the music reactions as I saw, as you saw earlier. I did a community post. Like, I'm getting videos that's been, that's over, that videos that I posted over a year ago. Finally, just, just now getting copyright claims. Like, I don't know, bro. Like, it's, it's, it gets annoying because it's like, okay, cool, these videos are monetized, cool. But then, boom, out of nowhere, a year later, it's a copyright. Like, I'm like, a man, and it's a manual copyright, too. Like, somebody literally is looking for these videos and taking the, the 45 cents that I earned off the video. Like, come on, cuz. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but anyway, episode 7, Sugarlies. Let's get to it. What's this trick about? Ach, it's a lot of shite. <laughs> this boy here with the pyjamas on. It's first thing in the morning, he's opened the door to the council who are cutting down a hundred year old see it belongs to. And the reason they've given him is they said, oh, it's against the law or something. What rubbish. You swallowed it. Aye, yeah, believes him, I. That's him going off his nut now. <laughs> Stupid gullible prick. Ah, he's a prick. <laughs> you mean to catch me at that? See, if somebody came to my door and said, oh, we're cutting down your prize tree, the tree you grew up with, I'd say, well, that's fine, that's smashing, that's what today, go and cut it down, I'd say, aye. <laughs> Excuse me a minute, I'm just going out to the kitchen to get a big knife to slit you bastard and throw me. <laughs> and oh, my goodness. <laughs> when you catch me running about in my pyjamas in the garden, caught in camera. I wouldn't even open the door, Jack. I'd conduct the entire discussion through the letterbox. We're cutting down your big tree, are you? Shotgun through the letterbox. <laughs> Blammo! Good night. You wouldn't even hear the bang. The blast would be muffled by the fat bastard's belly. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, Here, Christ, look at that. There's a presenter coming in now dressed as a polis. I mean, look at that. Yeah, um, the bloody magic. You'd never believe he was a polis for a minute. No, I'd dare say, oh, boof, hat off, the <laughs> dying beat you. You're no a polis. I'm daft. <laughs> Ugh, turn that shit off, Jack. Aye. Can't take you any more. <sighs> I know you're old tree. It's not a pish. <laughs> oh, here. Don't pour that. You've reminded me. <clears throat> there you are. What's this? A present. You don't know what day it is? Well, it's not my birthday. Is it my birthday? No, it's not my birthday. Is it? No, but it is an anniversary. <laughs> Who's? Well, I'll give you a clue. Frank McCallum. <sighs> Frank McCallum? Jesus. Where do I know that name for? Was that the fellow with the big golf ball nose? Ran the cafe at the top of Welshot Road. We limp. Big family. No, that was Bobby Jackson. Jackson's Cafe, sure. Oh, aye, aye. Frank McCallum. The big red-deeded bastards used to eat the stuff out the bins. No, <laughs> it was Sammy Baker. Baker the Raker, sure. <laughs> Frank McCallum. Oh, the boy in the tram. Mm, bingo. What else happened that day? That was the day we met. That's right. Sixty year tomorrow. 
No. Mm-hmm. Sure, we were looking at that arse in the fiftieth. Oh, I am mind of that, aye. Oh, what a he'd have had the next day. Christ, is that ten years ago? Aye, uh, so it's sixty in the morning. <laughs> aye, that's right. I was trying to get across... Uh, Sibley Street. Sibley Street, aye. Booth! Young fella gets knocked down by a tram. Frank McCallum. Frank McCallum. And the driver, he gets out and he sends me away to get help. Then you run into my dad's shop, roaring and greeting, and I come out of the storeroom to see what all the commotion was. And that was it. Best pals ever since. Fire! <laughs> 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 I like this, OK? 16 years of friendship. Yo, I need a, I need a person. I need a, I need a friend like that. Yo, will you be my friend? <laughs> Let me stop, yo. <laughs> uh, there you go. Oh, 60 years best pals. That's lovely, that is. Well, I wish you health to drink it. Smashing. <laughs> Be a taste better than a tanker. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't remember? No, I did not, no. <laughs> Didn't you have it written down anywhere? No. Uh, yeah. uh, hold up, Jack. I know what you're thinking, that uh, I'm winding you up and I'm going to burst it by producing a gift. But believe me when I tell you, did they remember? I've got your hee-haw. Away, oh, you lousy big bastard, you. <laughs> Oh my goodness! I'm standing in that bloody jeweller's getting that thing engraved, and you're sitting in with your thumb up your ass. <laughs> so that's the way of it, eh? Given to get. Oh, you've bittered this beer now, Jack. Oh, we don't talk a lot of pish. All your things covering your red neck with that patter. I am. Um, I feel bad. Didn't it make it any worse. Look, what about this? We're going to tune tomorrow. Celebrate. And I'll take you for a nice meal. Oh. Burger and chips in some stinking pub, no doubt. No, 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 no. Up to the value of a tankard. Well, somewhere proper. Aye. But with tablecloths in that. Of course. <laughs> All right, you're on. <laughs> oh. No, it's not roaring and greeting. Aye, you were. You were bubbling like a big bloody wave. Your arse. Aye, you were. <laughs> Oh, that's lovely. Why does this episode is more slow paced than we like it? Slow paced. Gotta go mad and get a taxi, yeah, haven't Funny moment. Taxi? Into the tune? <laughs> Deep we will not. You see, we've got a treat me today. Right, up to the value of a tankard. Taxi. Yo, but yo, listen, listen. I know this is like a small, minute detail, but the drip, the drip. Look at, look at this. Look at this, bro. This is fire. I don't care what nobody says. This is one of the most, this is one of the hardest, like, sport jacket, sport jacket, sweater tie, beret combos. Oh, my God, that is icy. That is icy, dog. And with the little, the little scarf to match the tie with the, oh, the drip, the coordinated drip. Oh, they, they are icy. I don't care what nobody says. They got the wardrobe. Whoever did the wardrobes is a go, man, because these, 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 these suits is icy. You know what I'm saying? Tune would take you well beyond the tanker threshold amount. <laughs> Tell you what, it's the bus, isn't it? Yes, indeed it. Which for us is free. Yes. Hold the left. You uh, bastard. Shut up. Shut up. me the there. I'm in empty jeans. Oh, look at you two. I've oh, done up smart. Nice jackets. Betty's he's gone. Well, we are not going to the clansmen, no turned out like that. Must be somewhere good, eh? Somewhere special. Eh? What would that be? What would the reason be? Oh eh? my god, she gets on my nerves. Like <laughs> She reminds me of so many people in my family, bro. <laughs> no, it's not a wedding. It's a buttonhole zone for a wedding. It's not a funeral because of the tie. <laughs> And it's not a court case, I'd have heard about that one. <laughs> it's a day out somewhere. Somewhere that isn't a Craig Lang. It's a tune. It's a tune, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know where you're going. But why? Are you celebrating something? Your birthday? No. Two old pals going into the tune. 
like you old pals celebrating celebrating me celebrating just been old pals that's it isn't it what an anniversary She's creepy with that. Ah, she gives me a fear. <laughs> Very up there for it. Aye, aye, aye. Do you know, I can't even mind the last time I was in the tomb, can you? No. <laughs> right, where do you want to go first? Now, if it's all right with you, I'd like to pop into that wee tobacconist just off George's Square. That's if it's still there, of course. Fancy something different, something a wee bit exotic, you know. Because you're not bit interested in that. No, oh, no, no, no. I could give myself okay, a wee cigar Wednesday's and go for after the meal. I enjoy a wee cigar. Aye. Aye, that's mm. right, sweetie. Aye. aye, aye. Wee Tom Thumb. Cafe creme. Mmm. Or a slim pan of Aye, aye. Or a Hamlet. Mm-hmm. Or a Costello. That's plenty. <laughs> hey ho. Oh. We used to doing out your wine and chariots this time in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come with you, I haven't done nothing anyway. No. Eh? I know. Victor's taking me for my lunch, we're having a wee day. Oh, that's smashing for you. What's that, Nady? Sixty years we've been palling it about together. All right. Well, just amuse myself the day then, will I? Aye. Sorry, Winston, that's just the way of it. Well, fine. Enjoy <laughs> yourselves. See you, bye. <laughs> you say y'all ain't coming. They, they go, they go, they go, they go, they go, oh, okay, you can come. Yeah. I think we should have asked them to come along with us. Uh, I feel a bit rotten. Uh, oh. We give a shout. Aye, uh, alright then. I'll just ask. Mind and hold each other's hands in the town now. It's very dangerous. But cut, keep your purse with you at all times. And Jack, if you need the toilet, you have to say you need the toilet. <laughs> but above all, have a good day, you couple of pansy. Pip me, Jesse, bastard. <laughs> That used to be a fur coat shop. Aye. And that was a haberdasher's, aye. Oh, right. oh, the tower's away, Jack. Used to be a clock up there, do you mind? I always tell if you're running late, you know. <laughs> that used to be a big burrows, aye. Aye. Oh, that's a 50 bob tailors, do you mind? <laughs> you see. Oh, can we cut all the all our yesterday's routine, eh? Before I bust out with the bloody hankies. I'm tanking here. Can we get some tobacco? Aye. <laughs> Tobacconist. I say, that's a lovely shop you've got, eh? Thanks very much. What are you after? A yeah, pipe tobacco. Oh, eh, uh, I wouldn't mind a look at your cigars. Some here, more over there. See, the thing is, we're here for a place called Craig Lang. It's huh? in a corner shop that's there. We news agents, really. We only got the two types and Bruno and Drum, you know. Oh, dear. Well, you'll not have that problem here. Ah, uh, jeez, oh, it's some choice. I wouldn't know where to start. Take as long as you like of over 70 brands from all over the world. If you want a wee try before you buy, feel free. Oh, <laughs> oh my God! Crabbing bastard! They hot boxed them. They hot boxed them. The crap out of that place. Good day! <laughs> well, I'm no expert on tobacco shop etiquette, Jack, but maybe trying 17 different kinds before plumping for your regular brand. Isn't it a done thing? Oh, well, stick to it, you know. Aye. What's he singing, Jack? You know any Perry Como, son? Oh, I'm a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little
the? Oh my god. What are you trying to do? You poison me. Oh my goodness. Well, sir? Hey, oh hi, hi, it's a, it's a smashing telly. But I've got a perfectly good 22 inch Grundig in the house. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, eh? Look at this place, fabulous, eh? Come on. Certainly is fancy. Uh, uh, uh. Here, come we'll get that seat. Uh, 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 hold on. How? Oh, you have to wait to be seated. For what? The place is empty. Aye, well, that's what you do. Do you not know nothing? <laughs> oh, a lot else we have. Aye, hey, can we have a table for two? Two pals. <laughs> is it smoking or non smoking? Aye, hey, smoking, aye. Can we get that seat, Hen? Yeah. Can I take your jackets? <laughs> Oh, I don't know, Jack. What do you think, eh? This place looks a wee bit rough. <laughs> Will we ever see them again, sweetheart? Yeah, they'll just be in the coat stand over there. Jesus, you're my bypass, Jack. <laughs> what would you like to drink? Eh, just a couple of beer, darling. OK, well, we've got Genuine Draft, Rolling Rock, Peroni, Sapporo, Sol, Tiger, San Miguel, Heineken, Stella Artois, Miklob, Schliemann's Honey Beer, or Budvar. You just want a couple of pints, don't you? <laughs> oh my goodness. What a roof of a bloody house. <laughs> oh. Oh, you're yeah, that can't be right. Jesus, eight pounds. Eight pounds for a plate of bloody soup. You clocked out, Victor. Eight pounds. It's about steep, is it? No. Victor. Hey, quick, before she comes back. Come on. Hey. Oh. Aye, aye, absolutely. Yes, aye, just uh, take my jacket because uh, the pipe's in the pockets here, you see. Look. Oh. <coughs> right, so, what to have, eh? Uh, well, to start, I'll have the duck patty with Scottish oat cakes. Uh, I'll have the shrimp uh, wrapped in the phyllo pastry. And for the main, uh, <coughs> sirloin steak, well done, uh, with the mashed potatoes and the dye John mustard. Uh, 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 and the corn chicken breath was rosemary and minted potatoes uh, resting on a bed of uh, couscous and a side of asparagus with uh, hot butter. <coughs> Come to think of it, Jack, I'm not that hungry. That's right, neither am I. Uh, will we just have some ice cream? Yes, two plates of ice cream, please. Have you not been in here before now? No, we haven't. Eh? We haven't actually eaten a tune for about 20 odd years. I uh, see, the thing is, um, me and my pal, well, we've known each other 60 years the, the day. So, as a wee celebration, we thought we'd have a nice meal, you know. But we're a wee bit out of depth with this menu. Would it be all right just to have ice cream? Mm -hmm. Sure, that's what you want. Aye, two plates of ice cream, son. Thanks very much. Hmm. Oh. Oh, that's lovely. Thanks very much. Hey, a wee toast then. <coughs> Frank McCallum. Aye, Frank McCallum. <laughs> oh, that set me up for my ice cream now. Aye, me and all. <laughs> hey, oh, 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 hold the bus here, son. We ordered Shh, it. Shh, the kid, I'll take care of it. I don't know if I should be letting you do that, son. <laughs> Look, if my old man came in here and saw these prices, he'd have a heart attack as well, please. Well, that's it. What's your name, son? Nori. Thank you, Naughty. Hey, he's a go. He's a go. He's a go. You gotta give him a clap for that. That's that's some gold move. See, I like how this episode is a little bit more toned down than usual. Like this is like the, the, like it's not as much just slapstick strike comedy right in your face. It's real toned down, real chill, real just sentimental little episode to celebrate, celebrate sixty years of friendship. That's a lot. That's a long time. <laughs> Count on me, find a mountain to climb, and see you'll need but a single glance to see the view. Won't you count?
count on me Just a little amount of me Goes further than free finance To star the queue I'm hungry, bro. Don't do that with me. I'm getting hungry, bro. Don't oh, my goodness. I'm, I'm ruined. I mean, I know I can hardly body move. What a tightener, eh? Wait till we tell Winston. <laughs> I'll be feeling. <laughs> he gonna, he gonna be hurt. Hey, get ahead of Norman. He gonna be hurt. Naughty! That bill gone. Norman! Have you been smoking in the kitchen again? I. That's it. You've been warned umpteen times. You're finished. Get your coat. Leave Mr. O'Brien. Get it. your coat! I need to get these gents a bell first. I'll get their bell. You should get their coat. <laughs> get your coat. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Boy, that bell finna be up. Ooh. <laughs> Did you enjoy your meal? Hey, uh, it was lovely. Uh, Norman was serving us. How's he doing, gents? Boy, only one. Look at that bill. Forty quid. <laughs> How much? Hundred and forty quid. <laughs> oh my. God. Ah, it's a bastard. I'll go hoppers with you. Oh, shut up! Well, that's charming, isn't it? Shut up. What are you doing? I'm going through this bill. Again? Oh, can't it be right? That's what it costs, Victor. You saw the bloody menu. Stop torturing yourself. Get that to me. Scandalous. £32 for a tiny wee bit of chicken. Three toty wee totties and all. Stop it, Jack! Ah, uh, it's a kick in the balls right enough. <laughs> but what a meal, eh? I'll remember that for the rest of my days. Ah, oh, I suppose so, aye. Here. That wine was something else, eh? <laughs> aye, aye, we've treated ourselves good and proper. And rightly so. Sixty years is a long time. You can't put a price in a thing like that. Aye, you can. It's not as much as 140 quid either. <laughs> <laughs> Get your cell together. This is New York's stop, Jack. Aye, I know, it's a wee diversion. Come on, you'll enjoy that. <laughs> Four o'clock. That gives us a good hour to look down. I'm no pain to get in here, but... That's all right, I'll get it. Fly by star. <laughs> 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 It's a smashing, eh? Aye, it's a berries, ain't enough, eh? Oh, the old shops. <laughs> the right wonder did memory lane, isn't it? <laughs> Aye. I reckon you saved that boy's life that day. You think? I showed a lot of foresight running into the only shop in the street that had a phone. <laughs> Don't know about foresight, Jack. Luck, maybe. Right enough. Nobody really had phones back then, did they? No, they did not. Fate, you'd have to call it. Aye. Fate. Some flashback to old Corey. <laughs> Aye. Should never have done away with these things. Smashing thing, eh? All right. Do you think that's the one to knock Frank McCallum down? <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't think so, Victor. Mm. That's the three that used to go through Pollock Shields. It was a 46 that knocked that boy down. 60 years, he wouldn't believe it, would you? Frightening looking big bugger that, eh? <laughs> eh? Hey. Hey. Hey, it is, eh? Hey. I never knew this place was here. It was my daughter that told me. Well, right, right. Hey. Only reason we're here is my pal here, Victor, saved a boy's life and got hit by a car. Long time ago, that's the day we met, you know, that's the reason we're back here today. Sixty year ago of the day. Aye, that's right, aye. Aye, sixty year. Frank McCallum. Holy! What? Aye. 
Uh, six months I was in the hospital. I didn't think I was going to make it. So I was saying to my daughter the other day, well, that'll be 60 years since I got knocked down. <laughs> it's her suggestion I come here. <laughs> it's amazing. When all that time passes, and where do we meet you again? Right next to a bloody tram. <laughs> <laughs> in a lot happier circumstances to you. Yeah. Aye, aye. Uh, well, uh, I'd better get my skates on. Uh, I've got to pick up some for my supper. You know. Why don't you have your supper with us? Eh? Aye, come up to yours and get something to eat. Have a couple of halves and catch up. Eh? Aye, Frank, you'd be more than welcome, mate. Well, that's a very kind offer, boys. Aye, that would be lovely. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I, li I like how neighborly they are, though. though. I, like, I like, like, they're very neighborly. You know what I'm saying? They're all like, hey, you know, let's come hang out together. Like, I like those type of people, not those neighbors that just sit there and they, they just sit there and they spy out the window and they don't say anything to you. Like, bro. <laughs> mm. Well, that was lovely. Mm. Thanks for that. Enjoy that, Jake. That was lovely, I. Wasn't he as good as lunch, but... Oh. <laughs> so, Frank, what did you do when you came out the Merchant Navy? Oh, aye, aye. Well, I'd met this lovely lassie in Portugal. Leone. Oh, you might have seen her. Gorgeous. Thin as a pin. <laughs> anyway, we got married out there, and then I brought her home, and we had our daughter, Cindy. Aye, Leone and I were very happy. She's still living? Aye. We're a lousy knee user bastard in the south side. She's a big fat cow now. Oh. <laughs> she couldn't knock her down with a tram. She'd derail the bastard. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's a bit of a surprise, I say. Us three sitting here. Oh, it's more surprising that she's broke out with them all. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was saving this for a very special occasion. If this isn't a special occasion, I don't know what is. Mm. Right, uh, you might have harm with these plates. Not at all, me and Jack will get these. Want a slice of Vionetta? What is it? Well, it's sort of an ice cream bar with chocolate laced through it. Uh, it's lovely. Aye, well, I'll help you with a plate of that then. Help yourself to a wee wall there, Frank. Cheers, Victor. I don't know. That's what I was saying. Man. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be serious, dog. You can't be serious, man. Oh, right. You can't be serious, Where is he? Bro. You must be in the slasher. <laughs> All of this stuff. You mm. can't be serious, Lovely man. Lovely smash, smash, no, no. See, I was having a... This was going to be the, the funnest episode, the chance episode of the series. <laughs> Some day we'll find it. Aye. Nice fella, isn't he? Mm. Mm. <laughs> That's a big slice of good him. He's a guest. Right. Hey. Oh, hey. Better respect. Man's in the toilet and you're trying to steal his pudding. Right, I'm going to get a smoke. Oh. Victor, where's my coat? <laughs> Bastard! <laughs> A carriage clock, sports jacket, and a wallet. Aye, 60 quid in it. And a pipe and two ounces of tobacco. Shh. <laughs> what else, eh? Who's your tankard? Oh, my tankard, you bastard! <coughs> Sorry, eh? No, no, you. <laughs> yes, oh, hang on. <coughs> what are you doing? Well, he's hardly coming back, is he? <laughs> I wanted Frank McCallum, so I was Frank McCallum. <laughs> Come on, daft old duffers. So, they took you up to their house? Ah, fed me and watered me. 
And then when I get a chance, I lifted this stuff. Jesus, Davy. I thought you chucked all that. Still at the blag at your age. I know, eh? <laughs> ah, stupid old bastards. They deserve all they get. Right, I'm away out of the road. Try and unload this gear. Watch him get hit. Watch him get hit by a car. Watch him get hit by a car. I knew it. I knew it. Watch. <laughs> I knew it. Anyway, everybody gets their stuff back after being robbed, eh? No. Frank McCallum. Frank McCallum. Or whoever you actually were. Hmm. <laughs> Don't drink your beer out of that. Drink out your tanker. <laughs> <laughs> knew it. See, I'm glad I'm glad he got what he got, man. Two pints of lager, please, Bobby. Yeah. Uh, Winston was saying you were in the tune yesterday. Celebrating 60 years of being pals, eh? Aye, that's right. What a day it turned out to be, eh, Jack boy? Fantastic. Did Winston also mention all the shouting and bawling he was doing at the bus stop, Connors Jesse's and all that? Aye, banging the windy, shouting, you bunch of pansies. He does a right holy showing up, didn't he? Just because we didn't ask him to come with us, too. No, he didn't mention that. <laughs> <laughs> Look, lads, I'm sorry about that, right? I went in the huff, cos he's wouldn't let me come with you. I realise now it was your day and you didn't want me hanging about like a gooseberry. Are you still talking to me? Aye, I suppose so. Me hard feelings. Right. <clears throat> Let me get you a drink. Nah, you're all right. No, no, no. I insist. Bobby, oh. here's a couple of drinks. Hey. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to propose a toast to friendship, to two pals who've stuck together through thick and thin for the past 60 years. Jack and Victor. Oh, <laughs> A couple of bum chums. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, that, I mean, that episode really made me... Well, I keep looking over here because I'm used to the camera being on the tripod right here. And I'll put it right here so I can use the green screen. Jesus Christ, I need to get my, my muscle memory out of here. I need to take that tripod out so I don't look at that tripod. Here. This is where the camera's at. Anyway, thank you again for watching. I like this episode. This is a very chill, very calm episode. It really wasn't too much going on. Like it was a lot. I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't want all the other episodes to be like this. But you know, every nice little change of pace every once in a while. Anyway, thank you again for watching. Uh, definitely leave a like if you enjoy. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Also, don't forget to turn on my post notifications if you are new to the channel. Uh, please be safe. Please have a great day. Please stand the grind. I'm out. Peace.